So we conducted this study uh, because, uh, uh, particularly in the U.S. centers, uh, <coughs> MPM1 uh, is assessed uh, initially by a uh, um, NGS panel uh, in many centers, and um, it is not actually uh, measured by a sensitive quantitative PCR um, for follow-up of patients. And so essentially uh, many centers uh, look at follow-up NGS uh, analysis uh, of NPM1 and uh, if it is persistent they say MRD positive or if it is negative they say MRD negative. Uh, clearly this is uh, not ideal because uh, uh, the NGS uh, analysis is not highly sensitive. So we wanted to see if uh, in uh, uh, the clinical setting of um, uh, particularly U.S. Uh, centers where uh, the sensitive NPM1 assay as was uh, initially reported by uh, David Grimwade's group and is being conducted in many European centers is uh, almost equi is equivalent to flow cytometry MRD analysis uh, that uh, is commonly used in many U.S. centers. Uh, so these patients essentially all had uh, MRD analysis by flow and a subset of them had uh, NGS uh, analysis to look at the NPM1 clearance and we clearly show in this study that uh, unless you use a very sensitive NPM1 assay uh, flow cytometry is probably the better assay for uh, assessing MRD in uh, NPM1 mutated patients.